how to pull and skip trades government lists inside of X leads. So yes, there is a way for you to get skip traced probates, pre foreclosures, liens, code violations, bankruptcies, divorce, like all the courthouse government lists that you know and love. You could actually get them skip traced inside of X leads and put right into ninja mode. So you could start texting, calling and marketing to these type of sellers. Now you might be like, wait, how is this happening? Is this our brand new update or like, well, how do you do this? Well, let me show you exactly how you can start using these type of lists. Now, again, the list that I mentioned are probates, liens, tax delinquencies, pre foreclosures, the arrest record list, code violations, bankruptcies, fire damage properties, and so much more. Now, how do we do this? How does this all work? Well, let's get behind the computer and let me show you exactly step-by-step step how this works so you can start having wholesaling real estate success using the power of X Leads. So actually we don't get started in X Leads. So here's the login to X Leads, right? Obviously, if you don't have X Leads, sign up at xleads.com. Now we are actually going to go inside of my free school community, my free group, my free wholesaling community. It is called freewholesaling.com. So if you just go to freewholesaling.com, you'll be put into the school group. It is my school group. It's school.com forward slash wholesaling, right? And we have 18,000 members in here. It's growing like crazy. Uh, but how do you do it? Well, it's pinned on the top so nobody can miss it, right? That's kind of the point. And this is just my instantly download millions of courthouse leads for free. I have a little video here where I explain it. Uh, but all I have to do is just press this spreadsheet. And what the spreadsheet's gonna do is pop up the top 100 metro markets in the United States right now and all of the links on how to pull the government lists. Now, I have to be a little careful on YouTube here because YouTube does not like it when I uh, you know, show personal information. So we gotta be a little careful here. But if your market fits this criteria, right? So if your market is in here, you're gonna be good to go. So for example, right, we have government lists for Wayne County, we have them for Grand Rapids, right? Uh, throughout the entire country, we have great government data. Now, a lot in South Carolina, a lot in Georgia, a ton in Florida, a ton in Texas, right? Uh, New York, Pennsylvania, all these areas, right? Uh, but all you have to do is basically go here to this chart and find your city. Uh, so for example here, you want to do, I don't know, Syracuse, New York code violations, right? I uh, go here and you get this little link and all you have to do is press search and you're going to find all the code violations for Syracuse, New York. Now, of course, too many records. So we're just going to have to go, we can download the data, but what I want to do is just filter it out. So we can filter out by date. So let me see exactly how to do it here again. So right here, we actually need to blur out the uh, addresses here. Uh, but simply we can just download this list. Or if you want to go crazy, you can copy the information. But it's like, well, how do I organize this in a nice spreadsheet? Well, two things, we can just screenshot the data, boom, and then throw that into AI and get all organized, which is probably what I prefer you to do. Uh, so going back here on this chart, we have Fort Bend, we have Kansas, we got Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's cool, a lot of cool code violations. Uh, you can do something like Seminole County, Florida here, where all we have to really do is do the filing dates from maybe the start of the month till today. We can do the probates. So we'll do the wills on deposit. Let's see what the probates we can do here. Trust probate be nice. Guardianship, notice of trust. No, formal administration and that should be good. And we're gonna press submit. Now it's searching all the probates. And again, we have to blur the information here, uh, but we got all the case information. Just press this export data and it'll export the data set for us, which is pretty cool. And we can open it up here. So for Bay County, Florida, it has given us a really weird data set here. I actually don't like this at all. Kind of weirdly done. So we have to go organize this a little better. So if you press one of the parties, we actually get all the information about the petitioner and the attorney details, which is not bad. So interesting. So let's go back here and we can just screenshot all this data and organize it. And we have that data set. Now with the data set like that, we might have to go into the property appraiser and copy the person that passed away into the property appraiser, see if there's address and then cross reference that data. It's a little time consuming, but it is still something we can do. Uh, for example, here we can do fire damage properties in all these other places. Let's kind of do the Fresno, California code violations too, just to show you 
Again, how to kind of use this, it's loading up here. All we're gonna do is go to enforcement. So we can do Fresno, California. There's so many ways we can go through all this data. So let's kind of use one more here. Tax delinquencies in Richmond, Virginia, right? Not really too bad. Right here is a data set for all the tax delinquencies inside of Richmond, Virginia, which is pretty cool. We're just gonna press export and let's export that CSV data. And again, we need to blur some of this information out. Uh, but basically it's showing the address, how much money is due and the current owner, uh, which is pretty cool on this information data set. So let's actually use the tax delinquencies for Richmond, Virginia here, because this is a little confusing. It has the address, but it doesn't have the state, the zip. So things get a little interesting. Like what do I do in this situation so I can send it to X leads? Well, what I'm gonna do here is let's use an AI. One of my favorite AIs is now Grok AI. So we're gonna just try now. And now we have Grok AI. And let's go give it this information. So we're gonna attach that data set. So now it has our delinquent taxes for Richmond, Virginia. And before I give it a prompt, let's actually go back into X leads here. So if I wanna take that data set, go to property leads in here, and then Im import the data so it can get skip traced, I have to just go inside of X leads here, right? So again, from the beginning, dashboard, lead pipes, property leads. I just have to press right here, you know, I'm gonna zoom in, upload CSV file and we can upload the CSV file. Now I'm gonna download the sample file. And when you open the sample file, it went street address, city, state, and zip. So all we're gonna do is go to Grok AI and just say, organize this data set into the format attached in, and we're gonna upload that CSV format, property import template right here. Remember I got that property import template by just downloading the sample file, clicking that right there attached in organize the data set called and i'm going to quote it you know delinquent real estate taxes into the format attached called property import template so i property import template and then we're going to press think so we can think again this is grok ai so it's grok.com and we're just going to upload this and have ai do all the and we're gonna let AI do the work here. So it's taking the information, it's thinking about it, and it's organizing it into a nice template that works for X leads. So we go here and export that information and import it into X leads, get it skip traced. So let's do its thinking here. All right, so it's pulling all the information here and it's creating examples on the data set and just say, turn this into a CSV. Okay, so I open the CSV here and it looks like there's no zip. So we're gonna actually take this information, throw it back into AI. We're gonna use Gemini AI because that's connected to Google Maps. And we're gonna put, fill the zip codes into this data set since they are missing. And we're just going to screenshot this info, send it into Gemini. Fill the empty zip codes in this data set and turn it into a downloadable CSV. Fill the empty zip codes of, and we'll put the property addresses on here. All right, let's go here. It's going to use Google Maps. The city is Richmond, Virginia. Okay, so let's get these zip codes for this data set. And we're, okay, perfect. Made a little Google Maps, that's pretty cool. And then, so create this into a CSV and or organize as the CSV into street, street address, city, state, and zip. There we go, perfect. Okay, so we downloaded the CSV. So now we gotta go here in the lead pipes we are going to upload the data set right here. We're gonna upload it. And we have all the property informations added on here with their phone number. So if I click an address like this random one right here, delinquent with taxes, boom, phone number's right there. So all we have to do is just select all, take my leads, download, standard, lead trace it, and boom, it will be exported, downloaded, easy as that. Then all I have to go here is go back into our ninja mode. So to get into ninja mode again, you just click here, press ninja mode, and you get inside of ninja mode. And all I'm gonna do here is go to contacts, import contacts. Next, I'm gonna add that file right here. Create an update. We're gonna press next. Make sure your first name's mapped. Recipient, we're gonna skip that for now. 
property address, we're gonna put that right here. Street address, city's gonna be city. State's gonna be state. Our zip code's right there. Okay, now we're gonna add in uh, the phone number right here. Phone, emails under email. And then the second phone number is gonna be on additional phones and then additional emails. And then we're just gonna put don't import the other columns, press next. Now we can add in our smart list. We can put it into a workflow. For example, if I wanna just throw the sucker into the SMS blaster, the triple tap, we can do that. Or we can just, you know, put a tag. So if I put tag power dial, it's gonna be ready for, it's already gonna be set for us to go start cold calling, right? It's definitely up to you which one you wanna do. And just press confirm, start bulk import, and it's gonna import the data set right there. So that is exactly how you could start getting government lists that I provide you for free inside of freelancing.com. Throw that sucker through AI, get it organized, make sure it's in the format that is correct for skip tracing inside of Xleads, get it skipped, throw it into Xleads Engine Mode and start marketing, start getting rich, wholesaling real estate. If you got any value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. And if you wanna get started with Xleads, just go to xleads.com. Again, this is Zach Kinn signing out. Have a blessed one.